two of my favorite things on one plate, lamb meatballs and pasta. I just did a little springy pasta here. It's got a pesto, wait, a pea and mint pesto on it with arugula, and it's so good with these lamb meatballs. I'm gonna show y'all how to make it. I've got a small saucepan of water boiling. I don't need that much. I've got a cup and a half of some frozen green peas. Green peas, I can't talk. I'm gonna add those into this water and let them thaw out and then just get a little bit tender. Okay, so I've drained those peas. They just boiled for about three minutes so that they're nice and tender. And I am putting them in this food processor with some fresh mint, some pine nuts, some lemon, salt, pepper, and some other ingredients to make the pesto. Beautiful. Win, okay? Okay, so. Sutton and I are making the meatballs now. She wants, she loves helping me make meatballs. And I'm using this ground lamb from Moink. And so don't add anything yet. Let's put the lamb in first. I'll tell you when. You're in charge of all the other ingredients, okay? Okay. I'm gonna put this good ground lamb, and the ground lamb is one of my favorite proteins. I can get it out of here. Um, get my hands dirty. We're about to roll meatballs anyway. Okay, so now you can add the egg yolk. Good, one egg yolk. Now you can add the almond flour. Good. I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of dried oregano. And I'm gonna do two cloves of garlic. Let's scoop that off into there. Okay, and now we need to add some salt and pepper, Sutton. Can I add it? Yes, you can. You do, I'm gonna do both. Okay, just do plenty of salt. We need lots of salt, but make sure these meatballs taste yummy. Bring in all those good flavors. Let me do one more big pinch. And but pepper. Okay, now we're gonna get our hands all yucky. Can I do my hands all yucky? Well, you're gonna help me roll the meatballs. Let mommy mix it, okay? <laughs> Son, get out of there. Okay. Hold on. Oh, someone just rang the doorbell. Can you go get it, Mama? <laughs> Why? Because you want to mix it? <laughs> We're almost done. Okay. Now we're going to have the fun part of rolling meatballs. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Rolling meatballs. Ah! Get your hands out of there. Hold out your hand. Hold out your hand. Now roll it. Okay? We're using this little... Um, cookie scooper, whatever you call it. Melon baller, that's what it's called. And we're gonna do small ones. You could do double the size, but I'm making it with some pasta, so I like as many meatballs as possible. To add. Good thing what? Good thing what? Here, yeah, let me scoop and you roll. Why are you scooping and I roll? <laughs> because that's what mommy's do. Here. Why is mommy scooping? Because I'm the master scooper. And you're the master roller. Feel? Okay, you can skip one. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, that was that was a good scoop, Nana. <laughs> can I do that? Here, hand. Hand. Give me your hand. Now roll. Okay, we're going to roll the rest of these meatballs. You get the point. I've got a skillet over medium-high heat. It's nice and hot. Adding some oil. And we are going to brown all these meatballs until they are just cooked through. Hello. Excuse me. Can I? What are you doing? <laughs> Oh okay. A pot of water over here boiling, and I am going to cook my brown rice pasta. All these meatballs are going, um, and it cooks for 12 minutes. So let's go. So my pasta's cooked through. I've added all that pea and mint pesto there, and now I'm just going to stir in some arugula for some even more freshness, and let that just wilt down. 
ready to serve in just a second.